This is a hip arthroscopy done on a 24-year-old male triathlete who has been having pain for about nine years. X-rays show significant cam impingement, and an MRI arthrogram shows labral tearing. This is the initial uh, hip arthroscopy looking inside his hip, which uh, the femoral head is on the left, and on the right we're looking at significant labral tearing. Right there flipping back of that is actually cartilage delamination coming off of the acetabulum or the hip socket. This is quite significant pathology uh, seen inside the hip. It does explain his uh, pain throughout the front of his hip. <clears throat> Again, this probing shows quite a bit of uh, tearing of the labrum actually coming off the rim of the acetabulum. And this is at the top of it. Uh, now we're looking more posteriorly uh, where the tearing is uh, starting and coming up more into the anterior aspect of the hip. Now what we've done here is we have are now in between the acetabulum rim and the uh, labrum. The labrum is actually up on our left and this is the delamination of the unstable cartilage at the rim of the acetabulum. We're using a special shaver here to get rid of the unstable cartilage. Um, if this was left in, it would most likely continue tearing and cause more problems uh, in the area. Uh, uh, as we see now, uh, though, the labrum has been uh, uh, completely uh, separated uh, uh, at its uh, area where it was tearing. This is a biter, again, inside the hip of the cartilage delamination. Uh, uh, taking care of the unstable cartilage. What you will see uh, underneath there, uh, <coughs> right at the base where it's uh, f uh, flipping back, is some yellow uh, tissue. That is the bone of the acetabulum uh, where the cartilage should be adhered to uh, very strongly, but in his with the chronic impingement and damage, it has caused uh, this delamination and separation of the cartilage uh, from the bone itself. We're just using different tools here to um, uh, debreed off the uh, unstable cartilage and uh, frayed tissue around the hip uh, uh, so it does not progress. Eventually, this is the area we will trim down some of the rim here uh, and try and promote some new cartilage growth with a microfracture of that area. Right now we're separating the uh, tissue from the uh, rim of the acetabulum where we will be doing our rim trimming. Again, you can even see with putting it down in there uh, some uh, soft cartilage. Uh, this is all area that had been damaged uh, from the continued impingement of the bony uh, abnormality of his uh, femoral neck. Uh, constantly impinging this area. Uh, it is a, a, a cam lesion. As you can see, this is uh, quite an extensive tear. Uh, if we're looking at a clock face um, of the cup, where uh, essentially this tear is going from an 11 o'clock position over to a 3 o'clock position. And here we're continuing to clean up this area now with a shaver.
And then here we're just changing our camera view to look more laterally on the acetabulum. Uh, still the rim of the acetabulum. And now again, the labrum is there on our left. That is bone on our right. And if we look down in the center there, that is the cartilage defect from the delamination. Now we're going to go ahead and bring a high-speed burn here and trim off um, some of the acetabular rim. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to do two things. It's going to prevent more impingement in this area and also bring our acetabular rim back to the area where there is better cartilage. Without doing this, we would uh, have to repair the labrum back to his old rim. And in that area, uh, there uh, would be void of good cartilage um, between the labrum and the normal joint surface. So here we will bring the rim actually down to better, more stable cartilage and then reattach the labrum to that area. This is about a 4.5 millimeter burr, so we're taking about uh, 4 millimeters off. Now it looks like we brought the rim down to where more of the stable cartilage is, all the unstable cartilage uh, above that we've uh, removed previously with our other instruments. This is the area where we can't bring the rim actually all the way down. Uh, this is the area of the delamination. If we brought it all the way down here, we would uh, start destabilizing his hip from taking too much bone uh, of the acetabulum. So we know from our preoperative x-rays that we can uh, take four millimeters easily and not destabilize his hip. And with the rest of the <coughs> bone that we're not able to resect here, we'll uh, use a microfracture to try and stimulate up uh, some uh, uh, fibrocartilage. There we can see that defect there. Now we've used a <coughs> established uh, another portal and uh, are doing the microfracture of uh, that osteochondral defect where the uh, delamination of the cartilage was that we resected. So this is a sharp tool uh, making some holes into the bone trying to stimulate some uh, bleeding in this area. And hopefully that bleeding will bring some uh, fibrocartilage into the area uh, to fill up this uh, void and give him some more articulating surface uh, for his hip. <coughs> now we're going back on the other side of the labrum um, there to continue our microfracture. And that's just about at the, the tip of the rim where we will be uh, bringing our labrum back down.